the, the more willing and honest and authentic I can uh, show up, it's, a, it's kind of a sign of respect of like, I'm gonna let you really see me for who I am. And then you're showing up in a different way than you would otherwise when somebody kind of says, let's be honest or like, let's be true to ourselves here. So for me, it's very comforting. Comforting doesn't just describe making yogi tea with Adrienne Mishler. It's the essence of spending time with her. I like to leave it on the stove for a fair amount of time so that my whole house starts to smell like the olden days or just smell really good. Yeah. Adrienne's Austin roots run deep. I always feel really blessed and, and lucky to have grown up here in Austin for so many reasons, but particularly in a creative environment, um, I think it has had a, a fair influence on how I turned out and what I have ended up um, doing with my life. The original life plan was acting, but after returning home from training with a prestigious theater group in New York, she tried yoga as a way to build strength. That, I remember that was when I was like, whoa, what is this and how can I make sure this stays, you know, with me or I stay with it? I don't, I don't know if I found it or it found me, but who cares because here we are and it probably saved my life. That blossoming love of yoga led her to teaching. Hello and welcome to Yoga with Adrian. I'm Adrian, and this is our first video ever. Then in 2012, she co-founded Yoga with Adrian with a close friend and director. I always really loved acting and performing. I think that being a performer has influenced Yoga with Adrian in more ways than I'd like to admit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I knew I wanted to be a teacher and I knew I wanted to be a performer. I never in a million years thought I would be a yoga teacher and of course never in a million years thought I would be in the circumstances that we are in now sharing in the way that we share with people all over the world. More than six million people across the globe now follow Yoga with Adrienne on YouTube. I'm one of them. And then exhale to wiggle the fingertips and rain it down. So it was a special treat to hit the mat for a one-on-one -on -one class with her. Well, not exactly one-on-one. -on -one. You're showing hey how to do downward dog. <laughs> Benji has become kind of an important tool in me doing whatever it is I'm doing, sharing, creating exchange. But it's like having the dog there does send a message too. Like, it's cool, we're, we're not really trying to dress this up. Just do what you can, get on the ground, stretch, work out, cry, pray, whatever you need. And all will be as it should be. Adrian's mantra is find what feels good. That accessibility and authenticity is likely why Yoga with Adrian has attracted such a large, loyal following. What do you want people to come away with when they watch you on YouTube? And what, at the end of the practice, what is your wish for them? I think my ultimate wish is for everyone to feel like a little bit of what I felt when I fell in love with the practice. Just this feeling of both being closer to yourself and also connecting to something bigger and what that can do for us and our confidence and our self-worth and the way we move throughout our everyday. I feel like even if just a little tiny bit of that is tapped into on the mat, um, that would be a dream. So, thank you. Thank you. And thank you. Thank you, Benji. Namaste. <laughs> Namaste.